Hey guys, you join me here at Snowman 86. We are back on Farming Sim. So today, guys, we are just going to quickly look at uh, the dynamic pastures, in particular for the cows, because I believe they all kind of work very similar to each other. So what we are going to do is quickly do something like this. We're just going to place a pasture down here, and then we're going to get the option: Do you want to customize the fence? Yes. So we want to customize the fence. Where are we starting? We are starting on this side. So now I do believe you need to be a little bit careful with uh, how close we get to trees. Can be a bit of a pain, but if we just bring ourselves out and zoom in here, we probably can, can't. We'll do something like that. Square it up right out to what's on. Yeah, we can go a nice bit. I think we can probably get out to out here and then we're going to just bring it along we want to include the few trees how big is this pasture going to be so ideally we want to make a nice size pasture for our animals so now it will be fairly square uh, did I do that one right probably could have went up a little bit more still just learning bear with me and now we've increased our money that we uh wow it's really finicky we've uh, we've increased the money that we've um we're playing with so for ventures like this it shouldn't be too much of a problem we want to be out here somewhere and if we tie it back down in do you want to plant meadow yes so that has now converted that entire area to a meadow so with that um, there's a little bit of maybe landscaping work to be done there a little bit bumpy but look for what it is there's a fair cliff face there but I think for the most part that will work out pretty well and um, so we're gonna buy some animals now so we'll jump in here and what do we want we'll go with uh, six month old Holosteins um so actually they need to be 18 months and older so we'll actually go with 18 month old cows um yes it, it brings up the expense that pasture because they're dynamic pasture can now fit 38 cows if we made that pasture smaller the number of animals it could fit be less if we made it bigger the number of animals it could fit be bigger if that makes much sense so we'll go with 15 16 17 18 19 so no, we'll go we'll go 15 so that's 20,000 we're going to buy them they'll appear in there uh, and that is that now one nice feature from um load up of this game and I, this is just me getting a little bit distracted you'll see in the background our combine is still working away i have not told him to crack on and to keep working so i just want to test a little theory i've been having a discussion with a person online i cannot for the life of me remember the name um i will get it but if i just jump in here now can i activate worker uh create job oh load and deliver Loading station, farm north, farm south, grain pool, lime station, lime station, liquid manure, main farm, manure. So you cannot do that. Go to deliver on loading station. If I hit green mill, main farm, loading position, we'll just pick here in the field job looping job looping no looping looping um it's probably the best i would think so we'll do that again sorry i shouldn't have changed anything we're looking for main farm we just passed it uh loading position as i say we'll go here and we'll point towards the main farm looping it's good enough for me hit z to start job 
so for me now the question is will this bad boy fill up so I just want to see will he actually fill up from the combine what is the combine at home of interest uh, so yeah he's getting fairly full he's doing his thing so I just want to see will he uh, will he loop to the just want to see will he loop to the tractor unloaders and will the uh, it says AI worker object J I'm not sure which one J is is he this fella can I check that uh, where does it say no oh. so it would seem like the AI uh, pathfinding is well for so far it's working well I didn't realize they had actually added this feature where you can pick and choose jobs that is a nice feature um, definitely if you're playing if you wanted to harvest the field and have him um, constantly uh, trail it to him back from the farm he will loop over and back and I'm assuming there's some sort of similar to the mod that used to be there for auto drive where you can um, what am I trying to say you can kind of create tracks and loops and set jobs off I don't think that man is going to find him so and I can now can't unload so yeah going to be interesting um, definitely going to be interesting but yeah we won't get too distracted we're working on dynamic pastures um, that's just something that cropped into my head there when I had it so the first thing I'm going to do is jump in here we will detach the cedar for now if I can I must lift the implement to detach it so that is that detached we are going to run to the shop pick up a uh, I think the shop is literally across the road as well which is fantastically handy for this so we're going to shoot across here pick up a uh, water bowser so if I head to shop and what we are looking for is down under animals barrels so we will get uh, we'll get the big one money isn't much of an object for this so we're gonna go kind of fancy with it hopefully that appears there in front of me it does the next thing is do I have a water point on the farm I'll have to find out um, but we're just gonna go back here Oh, yeah, the old gearbox is a little bit iffy. I'm on running automatic and it's just a little bit funky, but uh, so far so good. Don't think, do we have a water? Do we have a water tower? The answer to all your questions is, of course, we don't. So we're going to go in here, back to buildings, construction, and we're going to go here looking for containers under containers you have this option or you have this option this option is probably a little bit nicer looking um, can we place that there that's not going to be an issue I think we can so why can't I rotate myself hmm thought I could rotate maybe I need to be no that's moving menus so like always things have changed and i'm not 100 sure what the keybind is you think i would have learned by now guys but uh, i think what i can do is something like this there's probably close enough uh oh you hold the center mouse button now wow and i think I think uh, what's going on uh, I can't work it um, we are all over the show here guys do apologize for that why can't I do I need to have something oh well 
there's obviously a button that gets me forward uh, that's not overly bad we'll accept that so I'm just gonna go back here and we'll lock ourselves in here because we don't want to be too fast I like how it even deforms the yard a little bit uh, is, that is just nice because obviously it's not a solid base on the yard so you can see we're leaving little tracks and tire marks so that'll be interesting as we drive around the yard it's going to get rough it's going to get bumpy uh, we are close enough that we can start filling so we're just going to fill a lash of water here guys drop it into the animals and then as time goes by the animals should start eating direct from the meadow and uh, now they will not produce any milk or anything like that because it is just a meadow uh, there's no milking station so you still need a cow shed of sorts to bring your animals in and um, bring your animals in and milk them and things like that so that's something probably to be aware of when you're doing pastures but definitely for young animals it is a handy way throughout the year especially if you're playing with seasons uh, during the summer months you you can throw your animals out guys and you can kind of i won't don't really say this too loud but you can kind of forget about them so it's a nice feature uh, where do i need to get for the overload and for some odd reason never hit that trigger there we go we're overloading so we'll just oh wow the roll So we're going to let that happen. Taking nearly 6,000 litres of water. We just shut that down so it's not as loud. Um, and I believe as time now goes by, these animals should begin. Their health will start to increase. Their um, reproduction, obviously, as time goes by, will increase. That harvester has managed to stop over there. So we are going to just quickly jump in and... Um, see obviously the job menu isn't uh, I wonder actually I wonder I wonder let me just jump in here and deactivate and just tap that again so that is so we want to load and deliver loading station is see it's only given us areas I don't know why that is unloading station looping job so yeah, we cannot load in the field. There's not a, an option to select um, to load here and then it would path find to the nearest combine. It's kind of given us these icons are flashing. I'm not sure what that's all about. Um, so what we could do is load from the main farm and sell our crops by this way. But deliver would be the same. Now again, we can try the delivering main farm looping. We've set our uh, loading position. So, uh, did that? Oh yeah. So, I think that's what we want to do. So we're going to run to the combine now and unload it. Uh, and then we'll set this back up. Um getting a little bit distracted we were meant to be on dynamic pastures but I've gone way off the beaten track here guys uh, so we want to break that and whip all the way around here so we now know this is helper J so that's a handy thing to know so just going to shoot down here to the old tractor And we'll just begin the unloading process there guys we'll just roll forward a little bit so this trailer is about a load of combine anyway so no real need for him to be hanging around afterwards um, will he go will, oh, will he not go till he's full I'm actually not sure how this works uh, yeah we'll have to check that out as well that's going to be interesting but we'll see so will it be full loads? No, I think we're going to empty. Yep. So we've emptied. I 
don't notice him doing much back there but uh, hoping if I just hit X here now in a second my man should pick back up and yeah I just like that feature that he knows there is no crap in front of him and now he knows there's a crap in front of him so that's that's a nice touch So just going to quickly run back down here and uh, see what's going on. Now as I say that pasture is going to tip away and do its own thing anyway. Um, 99% full. My god. So what we'll do is we'll deactivate it for a second. We will shoot up here. We'll get a full load into it. And uh, yeah, we'll try and see, will he set off and do his thing? Uh, pull in here behind the combine. He should spit out the spout. Yeah, so... Oh, he doesn't like unloading on the... Oh, look at that! Where's he off to? Did I just mess him up? So deliver main farm start job Z. So 36 now should do a thing. That fella is doing a thing. Is he gonna know? See, you know, that's interesting. He. Why is he doing that? And by that, I mean the combine, obviously, the tractors. We're just gonna ride on board here with the tractor as he does his thing. And we'll come back and see what happens there. I just wanna see how well this works. Obviously, it just hit a gate there. Um, like how now the trees are included in our pasture. That is such a nice feature, guys little water tower there farmers coming together nicely and i do believe traffic actually overtakes us here now as well oh that's going to cause problems look at that so cars now do overtake you so you need to be wary of that as well guys now the reason i'm watching this is i want to see where he's going to turn because obviously buildings are going to be put out here shortly enough for us so we're going to want a few bits and pieces, but the fact now, you can have a tractor in the field, load to it, and send it away on a thing. Wow, guys, that is... Obviously, you're paying the workers' wage, and you can see our money is ticking away nicely. And workers, as long as I remember, aren't cheap. So that's something to be aware of. Uh, is he just going to turn full circle? Oh, look at that back onto the original path and away he goes even sticks to the side of the lane interesting so back to what we really wanted after a huge huge distraction look at the ground deformation there guys love that really do love that so if we run up through animals we've uh, full water uh, obviously no health yet but they'll start eating this meadow grass and Basically, they will tend to themselves until we're in a position where we have our own grass field. We can do a bit of silage and start feeding TMR and all that good stuff. So, very simply, you can now create your own dynamic pastures and uh, it will convert the ground. And you can see we went past the line of the field and it has really just claimed, it just set a whole new boundary. So... It is a fantastic feature, especially for hilly fields. I like the way the fence goes with the hill. There's no need to terraform into a completely fat surface. That is just fantastic. Obviously, where we lay down the original marker would want to be somewhat flat. Um, that did do a little bit of damage. But other than that, guys, I think um, I really do think it's worked out rather well. So we're pretty happy with dynamic pastures. So we're going to keep testing and playing with things and uh, yeah, we'll, um, 
We'll check back in here soon. This wasn't really meant to be a GPS thing. It just caught my attention as I was at it. And, um, yeah. It was really meant to be about dynamic pastures. But they're, they're fairly simple to explain. They work the same for sheep. Um, if I go into my construction menu, you can see we've cows, you've horses have a dynamic pasture, pigs have a dynamic pasture, sheep have a dynamic pasture, chickens have a pasture as well, uh, bees are just bees and others it's dog house. But I think it's cows and sheep will eat the meadow. Um, not something sure about the pigs. Uh, I think the pigs you'll have to feed again anyway with a pasture. But uh, it's just it's just a handy handy thing, guys. So afterwards, we could obviously get the fancy big. Um, that is horses. I was wondering what was going on there. Yeah, we could obviously get a real fancy big cow barn, uh, or we can go with a handy sized cow barn. Each cow barn seems to have some form of pasture. They all seem to have a little bit of a grazing area, so that's interesting as well. Does the small one have it? Even the small one has it. And we can see, you can see the different quantity of animals, 99 animals into this shed. So that's probably the one we'll go for. We just have to find a place to throw it down. And uh, yeah, we'll be, we'll be laughing then after that guys. So we'll keep playing with the animals. We'll keep playing with the GPS and the AI and stuff. Um, I think there are really the two things I want to get a grips to as quick as I can and I'll try and show you as much as I can as well guys so we'll check in again on our dynamic pasture later and we'll see how it's getting on but uh, for now that's that I think my common guy has finished my tractor has turned us up back to its location we put it at so so far looking pretty good so until next time guys, I've been Snowman86, it's been another kind of a quick how to, not really because we got way too distracted um, on Farm Sim 25, but uh, until next time we'll see you all again guys, take care.